Right, what we want to do now is start looking at bending some planks, right? Um, now what I've got here, I've just got a just a little bag. You could use um, any kind of container that can hold water, but I'm just using um, a bag at the moment, right? And basically in this bag is water, and I've been leaving our planks to soak in here, right? Now I've, been, I've left them in for about half an hour. Um, apparently you can leave them overnight if you want, but basically you just wanna get them um, soaking up a nice bit of water um, for about that half an hour mark. Um, now what I've also got here is um, a, uh, what's it called again? It's a, uh, from Model Craft and it is a planking iron, really good for bending planks and basically what happens is you plug it in and the end of the iron gets really hot and then you um, just sort of nicely bend your plank to um, whatever curvature you want and now we'll put that aside just to heat up a bit more um, so what we're going to be doing we're going to be let's just maybe turn this on its side all right, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be butting up to um, our plank that we already did earlier. Hopefully, as you can see just there, butting it up there. And then we're sort of going to work our way around and sort of start to kind of see where it is we want this to start bending. Actually, you know, there's a bit of a splinter on there. So I'm going to turn it that side because this side looks better. Um, but yeah, we want it to sort of start bending about here. Okay, so maybe getting a pencil and maybe just sort of lightly marking it. Right, just a little mark, not on the top because we don't want to see the pencil lines, although we're going to sand it out and we can rub it out. Um, but yeah, we want to start bending there. So let's uh, just put this out of the way for a second. Hopefully our bending iron is nice and hot now right so taking our little mark that we made right we want to get our bending iron now and all we need to do is just start to lightly bend it right well, i don't think this is hot enough yet so i'll cut away until it's um hotter so now our bending iron's um, a nice bit hotter. You know, we just want to run this up and down, right? We're looking at where our mark is, okay? And sort of starting to get a bit of a bend. Now you want to take this slowly, right? We don't want to be sort of like pressing down because we could snap it, you know, just let the heat slowly slowly start to bend it hopefully as you can see we're starting to get a bend in it and these bends that we're making you know are literally going to be uh, they literally will sort of stay okay All right, and it's the whole point there was a science behind it of a, um, the fibers and stuff in the wood um, with the water helps and the heat and all this kind of stuff all right, so as you can see, we're starting to get a nice bit of a bend going on. Um, and you want to take this a bit at a time. We don't want to just come along and just start, um, you know, doing big, big bends, you know. We've got our little mark. And hopefully, as you can see, that now is starting to go with the curvature. All right. So that's probably going to need a bit more of a bend but I'm kind of seeing that about here is where we want it to also start bending as well so I'm just going to make a little mark there we're getting out our bending iron again all right keeping note of our little marks all right so it's sort of like we want to work our way to here now all right to start bending this okay and this is where we want to get a bit more of a bend because we're really starting to like come around now. There we go. Alright, we're starting to sort of bend now. Here we go. 
right, and then again you know keep you know sort of testing right, keep checking that we're bending nicely as you can see now we're really sort of getting around right if I could just get you on camera as you can see that is now bending rather nicely to here now right so now we want to make a mark about here because this is where we want to start bending it around right and this is where we're gonna probably get really sort of bending right so now let's bring that in and rub it up and down and start getting a bend this end as well Right. And you just want to sort of do that so we, so you end up getting a nice bend that goes evenly all the way around and not having like um, too many sort of kinks in it. And as you can see, that now is starting to bend around to the front. So, you know, probably a bit of a mark just there as well. And we kind of sort of start bending about there. Um, now once it's sort of bent into a nice position, we just want to cut it basically up to there so it's cut nicely to size. So I'll continue sort of nicely bending this and making sure it's all nice and even and bent all the way around. Right, so there is the front all nicely done as you can see looking um, rather, rather cool. Um, just bring you around to the back now. Um, I'm not going to show you sort of like gluing down and putting um, the, the, the nails in and everything because I, I don't want to sort of bore you but basically again we butt up to um, our first plank that we did right and with this one there's no need to do any sort of bending iron kind of things um, it does just nicely um, lay down quite um, quite good and hopefully as you can see um, when it gets to here, it does um, nicely come nice and flush with our planking that we've got at the rear that we did there. So um, plain and simply, get the wood glue and nail them down. And then that would be our first row of planking. Um, now, just remember, okay, when you put one plank on um, this side, right, you then switch and do the other side and the same goes for when we put this plank down at the front we then do the other one this side as well um, and as you can see I've already done um, the rear plank as well um, and then I'm gonna do the the real plank on our right side so it literally is one plank one side one plank the other side and it prevents um, any kind of bowing going on there um, now the next thing is we want to then I do believe it is um, do you know I should probably check the instructions well as the next um, lot of planking we want to do here is going to be um, we're going to be starting from rib 16 okay rib 16 all the way across to rib 23 so we get this sort of brickwork sort of um, thing going on here hopefully as you can see there right we've got this sort of brick thing going on we're not going off and sort of <clears throat> having them all you know lined up with each other it gives it more strength if we have this brickwork style thing going on now um, the one thing with this is really is hard to get this stuff on camera is um, if we just show you here we need to slightly um, chamfer off um, the, this next one and the reason for that is if I um, put this up right next to um, the actual plank underneath right it looks nice and neat oops try that again right it looks it, it looks nice and neat. Oh, hold on wrong way around try that right it looks nice and neat but then when when I actually press it against the actual um, the ribs hopefully what you're seeing is we've got a bit of a gap going on there 
right so again if i push it out a little bit it goes nice and flush with the bottom plank i push it up against the ribs and we get a bit of a gap right really is just a little bit but um it's just enough to sort of make things not look so um so neat so what we need to do we need to add a bit of a, a chamfer to this so to do this we're just getting um sanding stick right and what we're going to do is slightly sand in a bit of a chamf chamfer it out a bit okay so we're putting just a slight edge on this and we're trying to keep it equal right maybe if i just do one end first just to just to show you okay we've done that just a little bit it might need a bit more but as, as we go up um different parts are going to need the um, chamfering off more than others but basically now right there's a bit of an improvement on um the way this is sitting now up against the ribs right we've sort of closed that gap a little bit more and that's what we want to do put that slight little bit of a chamfer in there and getting rid of um, the gaps and have it all um, you know sort of going with the flow going with the curvature of the hull um, so I'm going to go off and get that nice and neat and then plain and simply um, we just you know glue and nail this in as we did with the first one then we're going to come along <coughs> get another um, plank and we're going to then wrap it around the front and then we're going to put another one at the back um, just there as well um, and then we want to actually go up just three planks just for now just go up three planks um, and pretty much I've covered most of our bases here on how to do all that so I'm going to get that far now um, I've moved along with the planking hopefully as you can see here I've gone up um, five rows um, so far now we come to the sixth row when we get to the sixth row um, we're going to do a little bit more a little bit different um, on the sixth row but I thought what I'll do as well is I'll sort of um, you know show you a few more tips because I know planking can be um, a little bit daunting at first so I want to throw, throw in a couple of tips right and so um tip one right is um drilling off the ends drilling a hole um either end now the reason for this is um you'll find when you're trying to put nails into the the end one it can split the wood because it's so close to the end um, as much as you can put them in at an angle you do tend to still um have that chance of actually um you know I'm splitting the wood so what I've got here is I've got um, a the well the nails are 0.7 mil wide right so I've got something like a 0.6 mil drill here right and what we simply do is just drill a hole either end of the plank right so that when we do come round to actually um, you know putting our nail in the end we're not going to split it because that hole's already there for the nail um, i know it's a little bit more time but you know it does save on that splitting problem um, now what we've got here with um, the six row is from uh, 15 to 22 i do believe which is just the i've already measured and cut this plank to length All right but if i turn this over right this is where you get to see the whole you know it quite quite um, clearly why we need to um chamfer off the edges is um because where this starts to really sort of curl around you can see we're really getting a gap across there bring it maybe a bit closer now when i sort of how much i sort of push this down you know we're getting a gap right um now i've already chamfered off this side so if i just sort of turn this round now so this is going into place now after it's been uh, chamfered and as you can see you know i push down on this and that goes in there very very much a lot nicer a lot better 
get in rid of the gap right so that's why uh, and i just wanted to show you another example of why to you know chamfer that off now um if you've got a steady hand um you know you might want to try out something that is a bit quicker to actually chamfer this wood off a little bit riskier as i say you do need a bit of a steady hand but coming back to our um, roto craft here our nice um, sander what we can do right, is if you're careful right we can simply come along turn it on and just nicely chamfer this off right let's bring you in hopefully as you can see that was pretty quick and easy you work your way along you know and you do start to chamfer off the edge rather nicely however you know as i say you do need a steady hand you do need to be careful um, as you're going along you do need to sort of turn it over and just make sure you haven't gone too far that's going to be the main problem here is if you go sand too far you're going to sand this side out and it's not going to um, look good it's going to be all bumpy and everything all the way along um, if you do accidentally go too far do you know what you've got to sort of basically chuck the wood away because it's going to look um, a bit nasty so as i say i mean it is a bit quicker um, than using like sanding sticks but you you know you, you're gonna have to get used to it you need to have a steady hand and um, you know be careful not to go too far but it does help speed things up so i'm gonna go off and get these glued in um, and then we've got to do a little bit um just at the back here where we need to do um you know some cutting now we're going to come to um, the final plank on the six row and this one is where we've got to sort of um you know do a bit of sanding to reduce the width right um, and the reason for this if we can get you on camera with this big thing right is we put our plank of wood just in here and hopefully what you can see is you really are going to need to sort of press that down as you can see there um, to get that to go in but instead of kind of like pressing it down and forcing it in we're just going to cut a little bit of width off on the end right so what it wants us to do is a nice ruler really is good to sort of get um one of these little kind of metal rulers um nice and thin and everything they're, they're, they're quite cool for that another piece of wood right this is just going to be a bit of a base um, and what we're going to do is um to be honest with you i mean really um it says to kind of do it about 1.5 mil um but you know I, I find it's a bit safer to sort of go with a little bit less than that right so i'm going to do it about one mil right so i'm just going to make a mark of one mil there not one and a half mil and the reason for that plane is simply it's so much easier to have to sand a bit more than it is to actually you know kind of well basically have to start again in this case and i'm just using this little um plank of wood here just to keep our ruler nice and level right and what we're going to do now is we're going to line up right we're going to line up our ruler with our little notch we just made there right and we're going to basically get the ruler Let's get that into place line it up with a notch and have it come down to a nice little angle until it reaches about 130 mil and then we can run our ruler across without moving it just like so run our little pencil across there and then we end up with this um, nice sort of line and this is where it's going to just shorten um our plank there just so it fits a bit better and we can plain simply come along with a sanding stick right and we just slowly now sand it to that line right so now we've sanded um this down basically you want to glue this in like we've done with all the other pieces right um, i'll just show you the end of it because that's where what we've done here hopefully as you can see it's just basically plain and simply a little bit um shorter well not short sorry a bit less um, um thicker than the rest hopefully as you can see there 
you know, the width of that is um, just nicely a little bit less, and then it goes into like the normal length of a, of a plank going on there. So I'll glue that in, you know, nicely off camera. Um, the other thing is, is um, the pins, right? This is where you've got a, a decision to make, right? Um, if you are basically um, painting your model, now removing the pins, you know, we can remove them, and the reason why we can remove them is you end up with all these little holes, as you're seeing here, but we can fill them in, sand it, no problem, put paint on it, you know, nice and easy to remove the pins. Now, if you're going for a nice natural woody look, right, um, what you may want to do is actually go off, right, and cut the pins. Right, and the reason for this is the pins basically fill in the holes and it gives you that nice natural look because um, you don't really want to be using filler that much um, if you're going for you know a nice wood finished look. So, you want to probably cut your pins. Um, however, I am painting this, so I'm going to be removing the pins, and the pins are quite easy to remove. Um, some of them can be a little bit stubborn, but what you want to sort of remember is you don't want to be coming in, right, holding the pin and then sort of maybe, sort of, uh, maybe turn this, try and get you to better angle. You don't want to be coming in and say, getting your pliers and then digging it down and sort of pushing it up like that, right? And the reason for that is, is just here, right? You don't want our pliers here sort of digging in to the wood and leaving a mark, right? What you basically want to do is sort of try and get it um, just like so, and ooh, it's a bit slippy, right? You want to get it like so and basically pull it out, right? Which may take a bit more strength, but you basically don't want your pliers to touch um, the wood surface at all. It literally is just, you know, let's grab the nail and pull it up don't actually kind of use a bit of a, a force onto the wood to get that up uh, and that's basically the nail so you know make your decision there whether you're painting or not whether to keep the nails in there or not uh, remove them cut them that sort of thing so i'm going to carry on finishing this um, final six layer of planks <laughs> Thank you.